Hello, my name is Rachel Oben and I'm a fourth year PhD student in the Kamara Lab at the University of Pennsylvania. Today I'll be telling you about an algorithm we recently developed called Condicon. Condicon is a clustering independent method for estimating cell abundance in bulk tissue using single cell RNA-seq data. Background. Biological tissues are heterogeneous and comprising cells undergoing continuous biological processes like cell differentiation. With single cell RNA sequencing technology, it is now possible to investigate these dynamics. However, generating large cohorts of single cell data is challenging compared to bulk transcriptomic data. Although many computational methods have been developed for inferring cell type abundance from bulk transcriptomic data, these approaches rely on gene expression signatures for each cell type and ignore intracluster variability. To address these gaps, we present continuous deconvolution, or CONDICON, a clustering independent method specifically developed to predict complex changes in single cell abundance from bulk tissue. The goal of CONDICON is to estimate the likelihood that each cell in the reference single cell data is present in the query bulk data. For that purpose, CONDICON learns the mapping H of X between the space of correlation distributions X and cell abundance distributions Y using simulated data constructed from the single cell reference data. To evaluate CONDICON's ability to infer changes in cell state, we used the software Splatter to simulate bulk and single cell RNA-seq data for which the ground truth cell abundances are known. We begin with cell type simulations where we generate 27 different single cell datasets containing three, six, or nine cell types. For each single cell dataset, we also generated 25 unique bulk gene expression profiles by aggregating cells at varying proportions. We then used CONDICON to infer the distribution of cell abundances in each bulk dataset using the single cell data as reference. To quantify the concordance between the estimated and simulated cell abundances, we aggregated the cell probabilities inferred by CONDICON across each population. We find that the estimated and simulated cell type abundances are strongly correlated, demonstrating the utility of our clustering independent approach for gene expression deconvolution. Next, we move to a simulation that recapitulates continuous biological processes. For that, we generated 39 different single cell RNA-seq datasets containing a cell differentiation trajectory. Each trajectory consists of a precursor state or two and or three terminal states. In figure C, we visually demonstrate CONDICON's ability to recapitulate continuous changes in cell state associated with differentiation trajectories. Overall, we find that CONDICON's estimation of cell probabilities are strongly correlated with the simulated probabilities. From here, we move to benchmarking CONDICON against other clustering-based methods. For this, we systematically compare CONDICON using a published benchmarking pipeline that evaluates the robustness of each method to increasing levels of noise in the reference single cell data. Here, noise was introduced by removing either a small, medium, or large cell population from the single cell data while preserving that cell population in the query bulk data. Overall, we find that, on average, CONDICON outperforms 16 of the 17 other methods across six different data sets. To further evaluate the top performing methods, including CONDICON, we leverage a bulk RNA-seq data set with paired ground truth cell type proportions determined by FACS. CONDICON's average cell type performance consistently outperforms other methods when compared to the FACS data. These results highlight the utility of aggregating CONDICON cell probabilities into discrete cell type proportions. Next, we used CONDICON to estimate dynamic cell abundances associated with well-characterized biological systems. For this, we use the Tablamuris bone marrow dataset, which consists of single cell and bulk RNA-seq data of mice ages one month to 27 months. This is an ideal system for studying continuous changes in cell state associated with age-related processes. We find that CONDICON is able to identify a gradual shift from early pro-B cell abundance in young mice, less than or equal to three months of age, to naive B cell abundance in fully developed mites, this is consistent with previous FACS data. 
Finally, we sought to investigate the relationship between tumor infiltrating microglia and the mesenchymal transformation of pediatric ependymoma, a rare and aggressive brain tumor in children. To that end, we applied ContiCon to a previously characterized transcriptomic atlas of these tumors, consisting of bulk and single nucleus RNA-seq data. We then defined mesenchymal and microglia activation scores for each tumor. These these scores represent the relative density of cells inferred by ContiCon along the EMT-like or microglia trajectory, respectively. When we look at the relationship between these two scores, we find that there is a strong correlation between the mesenchymal and microglia activation score. This result suggests that the mesenchymal transformation of ependymoma tumor cells is paralleled by the activation of tumor-infiltrating microglia, consistent with the central role of the tumor microenvironment in the EMT-like process. Taken together, our results demonstrate that an unsupervised approach like ContiCon can elucidate previously undetected cellular processes in bulk tissue. We anticipate that ContiCon will extend the utility of current deconvolution methods by improving our understanding of single cell dynamics in complex tissue. For more information on this project, I invite you to email me. Thank you.